Hey, what's up? If you are watching this video, then you must be known about the craze of GPU cracking. Well, what is actually hash cracking? What is the GPU cracking? So, in this video, we are going to be looking at these topics and I will be teaching you guys what is actually a hash cracking and GPU cracking. So, in this video, I'm going to be answering all those questions. Before we get started, let's look at what we are going to be covering these are the topics we are going to cover in this video take a look at it we are going to be looking at topics such as cpu versus gpu at computing how hashes are cracked the best tools used to cracking uh, the cheapest way to gpu cracking and the best word list so before we actually dive into the cracking part we need to know the difference between gpu and cpu the CPU is mainly used for optimization of the serial tasks and on the other hand GPU is used to optimize for tasks in parallel. Although a CPU core is much faster than the GPU core. As I said GPU can perform parallel instructions on multiple sets of data because GPU has hundreds of the core. Actually I made this little animation to show you guys. Uh, how the CPU works it actually takes the task in serial way and it basically it executes the task in serial part where on the other hand GPU is optimized for many parallel tasks and I made an animation on GPU as well as you can see GPU actually executes the tasks in parallel way GPU ran at 1450 megahertz and crack around grand total of 160 million shahasis per second. The core core 2.4 GHz Intel CPU could achieve around 48 million of shahasis per second. So now you guys know about the basic part. Let's really see how hashes are actually cracked. But before that, we really need to know what is actually a hash. If you look at this hash. A hash is actually a function that can be used to map the data of arbitrary size to fixed size values which can be called as a hash. I made this little md5 animation here. If we hash the word 0x DOM with the md5 algorithm it will produce a hash value which is of the fixed length and let, let's actually hash uh, another word which is YouTube and here I hash the YouTube word if you actually compare those two values to hashes you can see that both the hashes are different a hash a hash is non-reversible means you cannot retrieve the values back hashes does not work like encryption or decryption hashes are non-reversible hashing is a one-way function where data can be mapped to fixed length value. It's a one-way function. Hashing is primarily used for authentication. So, now that we know what is actually hash, let's look into the part of how hashes are cracked. If we take our MD5 decryption algorithm again and really zoom into it, it's repeatedly trying to process the words from the dictionary converting into the hash and then comparing it with the our original hash which is actually a brute force there are actually various types of hashing algorithms out there such as microsoft lm hashes md4 md5 sha and much more if you ask me the best tip i will ever give is don't use the weak hashing algorithm such as md5 sha1 because they are not secure, anyone can crack those hashes. If you really want to experience the faster hash cracking, you should use the GPU because it processes the hashes much faster and it has actually the quality of parallel optimization of the task. And now you might be wondering what should I use to leverage the power of your GPU? Well, there is a tool called Hashcat. Hashcat is world's fastest, most advanced 
password recovery utility. And now that we know about the cloud computing and the tools we can use, we can actually focus on the part of the word list. To crack a hash, you actually need a word list. And here are a few word lists I can recommend you guys. The crack station word list is actually a really cool word list. I will provide the link in the description below. Crack station word list contains password dumps from various websites. There comes the rocku.txt, which is actually a very famous word list. If you are a Linux user, you can find the word list in the user share word list directly in Linux. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Zero Explore. See you in the next.